As we conclude our episode on the Garmin Zero Bowsight technology, we'll follow Wade into the stand as he is on a crossbow hunt during the middle of the whitetail rut. Our setup is a 10 point nitro 505, and I've got a Garmin Zero on it. I've been a huge believer in the Zero technology, both in my compound bow and my crossbow. It just it eliminates any doubt of an aiming point. It just gives you a precise point of aim every time you're pulling the trigger. When you use technology to your advantage, some people, some people are for it, and some people aren't. And I'm not here to preach or push any one thing. I'm just here to show you what I like. And with the Zero technology, there's a lot of features in there that just simply they make you better. And, and I'm not meaning that you know the technology is going to help me kill a deer. It's going to help me fix mistakes that I didn't even know that I was making, Aim, anchor points not hitting consistently on my compound bow, we all preach that, uh, not being level a lot of times, you know, there's a, both, both of the uh, crossbow and the compound bow sides, they, they help you with those types of things so that uh, you're going to increase your accuracy because every little bit helps. Just climbed up in the stand. Did you see the brow tines on that deer? They go up and they go like this. <laughs> it's so cool, both of them returned. He's tall, he's chocolate. You can tell he's a little run down from the rut, but he's ours, baby, because we just smoked him. I mean, that was 19 yards. I mean, that's perfect. And I mean, we just, this, the Nitro Zero combination. I mean, if you're a crossbow hunter, you want precision accuracy, this is the deal. Double lunger right there. <laughs> Boom, that was awesome. Oh, pinpoint accuracy, baby. Mm, mm. <laughs> oh, Jeff found it over here. He's not telling me where it's hidden. Oh, there it is. Looking for it laying the other way. Man, that is a lot of force to go that far. To go that fast through a deer. You can tell this one is gonna be good to probably be used again. Got it right there. You can see a little bit of pinkness right there. I mean, that's a total pass through. We looking at the video and how he ran off, it was a pure, pure double lung. I mean, this is this is gonna be a one we'll at least be able to use again. We can Actually turn the lighted knock off that fast, that easy. This one's in perfect shape. I like it. Right in there. It's starting to open up more. I think I see him. Yeah, you got him. Yep. <laughs> I was like, they don't go very far with that shot. I'm gonna look 40 yards ahead and there. I think I see white. <laughs> oh. This cool old tree too. Wow. 
Wow. Wow. Wow. <laughs> ah, he's getting better. <laughs> he's getting better. Love those brow tines on him. I mean, this one like goes and then goes and turns that way. This one just makes a turn in the whole direction. Good mass. This is an older deer. Look at all that. He's probably run down 20, 30 pounds during the rut covering ground. Golly. <laughs> <laughs> that is awesome. Great camera work on that one, buddy. All of this technology is designed to make you a more ethical, more prepared, more successful hunter. But what it can't do is it can't control buck fever. It can't control your heart when it starts palpitating and jumping up and down. It can't control that breath rate that's going through. It can't, you know, go practice for you to make you better. Those are things you've got to do. You've still got to spend the time out on the range practicing shooting in a lot of different positions and a lot of different setups. You've got to spend the time calibrating. You've got to spend the time dialing all of this in. But when you do that and you've practiced and you've prepared and you can control all of those factors that are human by nature, when it comes time to squeeze the trigger on your crossbow or tap that release on your, on your compound bow, if you've controlled it all, I have a lot of confidence you're gonna be happy with the results.